never in all my life have I spent so much time in such a short amount of time talking about cliff jumper. Or, in this case, it's going to be Fly Over Mountain, along with his buddy Taxi. This is the Hot Soldiers versions of the characters that we know and love. And Fly Over Mountain and Taxi, well, these guys, they're going to be our focus this time around, along with a couple of interesting comparisons along the way. But they're going to be our focus this time around in the latest Got By True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gapa. Thanks for dropping by. You know it's very appreciated. <sighs> Please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe while you are at it. That's right, hit that notification bell, please, because it lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel, and it helps me out a ton. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers Collectors, and L, the Autobot Family, and have a look for me everywhere across social media. And this is the Hot Soldiers, Fly Over Mountain and Taxi. It's their versions of Cliff Jumper and Hubcap. And... Uh, <sighs> Like, I've seen people, you know, talk about their big yellow bee, which is Bumblebee, and I've seen them talk about um, Gold Flybug, which is their gold bug. Um, but not many people have talked about this duo. Now, I think that this is a very interesting duo to talk about, especially since we've recently looked at the Earthrise Cliff Jumper. We're going to, you know, talk about both of these lads. We're going to put them in comparison to the earlier generation's Cliff Jumper. And to the Earthrise, because there's a lot to actually digest here, and there's different cliff jumper choices, and I suppose hubcap to a lesser degree, but there's certainly different choices here that's going to appeal to different collectors. So stick around, because we're going to head over to the table and we're going to take a closer look at both of these guys. And yes, from one cliff jumper, we dive into another cliff jumper, or, well, to be fair, a cliff jumper and a hubcap, if you will, via Hot Soldiers. Before we get into them, though, we have a bunch of things we kind of got to get out of the way first. Here we have the packaging. It looks pretty beautiful, I think. Of course, it says Hot Soldiers. We have nice artwork on it. Uh, I love that Cliff Jumper's called Fly Over Mountain. That, that's perfect. And Hubcap is taxi? Okay, whatever. Uh, nice artwork uh, holding his huge cannon, as we all know and love. On the side, we have their Bumblebee and their Goldbug. On the other side, we have both of the lads, Taxi and Fly Over Mountain. And on the back, we have something that looks very G1. I absolutely love it. Uh, it is... Number 15, number 16 for Hot Soldiers, and, um, okay, it's what we got. That's the top. Uh, it's upside down, but, I mean, it's, you know, it's it's just packaging. And, of course, a bunch of warnings and all that junk on the bottom. There's a ton inside here as well, such as... Cliff Jumper's big silver cannon. Uh, there's a black one like this as well that I guess goes with hubcap. No, this is not nearly as big as the huge one that comes with Earthrise, but it's still pretty big. And this little silver blaster. Again, this comes in black. I assume to go with hubcap. It's just a little blaster, little hand cannon. That's all. We have a couple of back fillers. Use them if you want. Don't use them if you want. There's a red one. There's a yellow one, obviously. Uh, one for hubcap, one for Cliff Jumper. They also come with two generic, like, gray colored ones if you just want the backs of them to be gray and plain and we have this pale little boy that says spike art i assume this is supposed to be spike i'm not even going to pretend that i don't love the fact that we get instructions that look extremely g1 these are excellent excellent instructions on the back we finish it off and we even have the other like um, and it's not glossy paper, too. We even have the like, other ones in the line. I mean, th come on. We have Hubcap's ever-popular collector card. And on the back, look at the stats for the guy. Strength's not real up there, but... Um, intelligence. Intelligence is pretty high, you know. Uh, courage. Skill. Skill's well up there. You know, he got some stats going for him. He has finesse. And wouldn't you know it, ever popular collector card times too, because we have cliff jumpers here as well. His best stat is his courage. Everything else is kind of average. Say what you will, but that's a ton of stuff. And we haven't even gotten to the two lads yet. 
And here they both are. Obviously, I've taken the liberty of putting Autobot symbols on the two guys. Now, uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're talking about here, each of these guys, with all of their bits and pieces, their card, the whole thing, the little, the other little spike dude, they all clock in together at about 70 grams. 70 grams, that's, that's important to note later on. The little spike dude, I didn't go through him because I think we all know how those little guys work. I mean, the, the legs can go forward and the pants can come off of the, from the shirt. Now, before we get to these guys, we actually have a third character that I guess we should take a look at for a moment. I feel like this is stupid and unnecessary to look at, but I guess I'll do it anyway. The head can go left and right, the arms can go up and down, the wrists turn, you know, he can get in a seated position. Obviously, he comes apart into different, you know, bits and bits, bits and bits. You could, you know, tear the guy. We know how this works, don't we? Uh, it's a nice little throw-in, but it's also a bit of a throw-away. And undoubtedly, both Hubcap and Cliffjumper here are small legends. Uh, with all of their bits, I said that the, collectively they were about 70 grams. When we just have the bare bones robots, each of these guys is about 21 grams. So they are slight, they are smaller, and typical legends are about 42 grams, roughly. If we take each of these guys and we arm them up with their backpacks and their blasters and stuff, they're about 35 grams. So they are a bit smaller, even with all of their gear. But you know what? The price falls right in line because I only paid the equivalent, really, of a Legends class price for these guys. And they're not mass produced. I mean, this is a third party company. Typically, that price structure is a little bit different because they're not out at mass retail. So you know what? Yeah, they're a little kind of thinner legends, but they're only priced as legends. It kind of makes sense. You sort of get what you pay for, so to speak. And I think they fit in pretty well overall. So what about scores for the boys? I'm going to say both of them for paint apps get a 10. That's right. Bold to say, but I'm going to say 10. When we talk about Hubcap, we don't really have an animation model for him. We only sort of have the, like, art, like, I, I, like maybe comic book art, uh, you know, something along those lines. We've had a few drawings of him, but we don't actually have, like, cartoon art of him, so to speak. So I'm going to say he's a 10 because basically he is a yellow version of Cliff Jumper with uh, a different shaped head and a orange face. That is exactly what we have here. For Cliff Jumper, we have now an Autobot symbol on his chest. We have blue windows on the guy, like a baby blue, as he should have. His head is pretty much perfect. The shoulders are black. And uh, forearms are gray. The wrists are black. Uh, his little waist skirt piece that's a little hard to see is black. His legs are gray. His lower legs, or sorry, his feet are red just as they should be. Both of these guys tend, they look the part tremendously well. Now, because they function exactly the same, the scores I give for articulation and transformation are going to be the same. So we're only going to have to deal with one of them. And since kind of uh, a, a current hot topic is Cliff Jumper, I think we'll go with Cliff Jumper and we'll see Hubcap near the end again. So for Cliff here, we're going to just move him over slightly and we'll kind of arm him up first so you can sort of see that first. We'll take a blaster and put it in this hand over here. He holds it just fine. We can take his huge rocket blaster, I suppose, and we'll put that in this hand and Again, like, that's fine. Then we come to the back. Now, the back, admittedly, a lot of people have said is quite hollow. It doesn't really bother me because this flap kind of makes it okay for me. But if it does bother you, then we do have a hole right here. And we can take this piece or the gray piece, or I suppose the yellow piece if you want, and it can fit in there. Is it tight to fit it in there? Yeah, a little bit. So a little bit of a pro tip, open up the chest and kind of put your finger in there to hold it and you should be able to snap this piece on the back. It is quite tight. I do have his big bazooka thing in there, but I mean, you don't have to have it in there if you don't mind. Close it up. And I mean, now his back is definitely filled in if you prefer that for your display. I don't know. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
And here we have the three most common click jumpers uh, for kind of generations collectors, I think. On the far end, we have the older, now generations possibly thrilling 30 click jumper. He was all right for the time. But again, when I looked at him way back in episode 115, I said that his paint apps were a nine. They weren't perfect because of kind of black in certain areas wasn't right. He had too much red on his arms. The Earthrise one, the newest one I looked at very recently. And again, I said that his paint apps were a nine because of the same sort of reasons. Too much red on the arms and the legs should be gray, not black. The dude in the center is the hot soldier's boy and he is the most accurate. He is a perfect 10 for paint apps. He's also the lightest of the three. To be fair though, he is kind of priced similar to the Generations one. And if you were to include him and Hubcap and all of their parts, 70 grams of plastic, it still is a cheaper price point than we got for one Earthrise Cliff Jumper. One Earthrise Cliff Jumper here in Canada, taxes in is 35 bucks. Both Hubcap and Flyover Mountain um, taxi and flyover mountain with all their parts was 24 bucks. I, I, I got two characters and I got 70 grams of plastic for 24 bucks versus one character and 57 grams of plastic for 35 dollars. It, it, the math, the math for me works the way it does, but that's just me subjectively. Objectively, all three of them are pretty great for different reasons, and either you have all of them or you have one of them. If you're happy with the one that you have, I don't think you need to replace it because they're all good offerings in their own way. I do have to admit that the Earthrise like, arm cannon is beautiful and huge compared to the smaller one that comes with the Hot Soldier's Boy and the neither one that comes with the Generations. Though to be fair, the Generations did have the little MicroMaster suppressor along with uh, like a blaster so you could kind of get a big cannon anyway as weird as it might look. And so of all of our offerings, this guy's starting off with the highest score being a 10 for his look. What about the articulation? Well, the articulation on the Generations Cliff Jumper I said was about a 6.5. He has certain leg and arm limits. For the Earthrise, it's 10. It's a perfect 10. What about for this guy? Well, for this guy, we have a head that goes left and right. It can kind of look up and down. The shoulders, they go all the way around. They go well out to the side. We got a 90 degree elbow. We do have a bicep swivel, but the bicep swivel is because there's a ball joint in there. No wrist, we do have a butterfly. If you take a, the back piece out, because of transformation, we do get a deep butterfly. Um, I like it. Of course, this is exactly the same for Taxi or Hubcap too. Uh, the legs go all the way out to the side, no problem. They certainly go back. No problem. Um, now, forward is a bit of a problem. That's as far forward as you're naturally going to get. But you can sort of like angle up the hip skirt piece and sort of angle back the hips a little bit. And it gets you like, let's see if I can get this. It gets you fairly deep, fairly deep forward. I think that that's a bit better than what it was. This needs to go up. There, uh, the legs don't really have a thigh swivel, that's a shame. No wrist swivel, that's a shame. The knees go to almost 90 degrees, but weirdly, they go to a full 90 degrees this way. There's no ankle tilt, but there's an ankle rocker forward and back because of the transformation. So his articulation is, it's all right. It's effective. It's better than the Generations, but it's not as good as the Earthrise. So the articulation on this guy, oh, and he doesn't have a waist. That's the sad part. The articulation on this guy, I'm going to give it a, about an eight, about an eight, because it, you, you can get some dynamic poses, but there's a couple of things that you're going to wish you had, like a thigh swivel, like a waist swivel. Actually, an eight was probably being a little too generous. Uh, I'm going to say seven and a half. It, 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 yeah, seven and a half. That feels, that feels more accurate. So he had a 10, he had a seven and a half. This guy's scoring all right so far, clocking in somewhere at about 8.75. What about the transformation? Well, the transformation is pretty good as well. We can open out the chest. By the way, the transformation for the Generations, I said, was a nine. The transformation for the Earthrise, I said, was about a seven and a half. Uh, we can 
put his head in, we can close this up and we can put this piece down. Then we take the arms and bend them at the elbow and swivel them around and we can swivel the entire arm inside. Bend at the elbow, swivel it around, swivel the entire arm inside. That's why his body is hollow because everything needs to go in there. Then we take the feet and we bring them all the way kind of down and backwards really. And then you're going to sort of angle back the waist and collapse in the foot, angle back the waist, collapse in the foot. And then you're gonna put the toes to together and boom, in the end, really, I do have to fix that. In the end, really, here we have Cliff Jumper in his little kind of penny racer mode. And at the end of the day, here are both of these lads in their vehicle mode. Uh, we were kind of going with an 8.75. The, the transformation is simple, clever, but involved. There's enough movement to keep it interesting. I'm going to say it's a solid, honestly, it's pretty easy, even though there's like interesting parts movie. I'm going to say it's a solid 9. He was at 8.75, he got a 9. Overall, this set, these two guys are good. They're definitely, I'm going to say 8.9. Like, they're really quite good. Perfect? No. And their weakness is in their articulation. There's no doubt about it. So at the end of the day, we have three cliff jumpers, and guess what? All of them are about a 9. All of them are quite good. None of them are perfect. The Earthrise one definitely takes the win in terms of the texture of him, the paint apps, and the articulation. The center one, I don't know. I don't think he takes a win. He's just a nice cliff jumper. Uh, if you like the video game aesthetic, he's definitely the one for you. And the Hot Soldiers one takes the win, I think, in terms of transformation and really capturing the look of the character. I don't... Like, this, the center one, I feel like it's... A little bit video game, a little bit Transformers Prime. The Earthrise one, I don't... This alt mode does not scream Cliff Jumper to me. It, sc it screams Wing Charger. I don't... It doesn't do it for me. But the Hot Soldiers one does. That's totally subjective. Ob so, uh, subjectively, the Hot Soldiers one is hands down my winner. Objectively, all of these guys are good. If you've been on the fence about the duo for the Hot Soldiers, I don't think you need to be on the fence anymore. I mean, sure, they're not going to be for everyone. But if you think they might be for you, then they probably are. For my money, for my sensibilities, and for my kind of sense of aesthetics and collecting taste, I looked at this and thought the value was there, and I saw it as kind of getting a, like a two-for-one. I don't think I would have went looking for Hubcap by himself, but since he was there anyway, why not get the little lad? Solid, solid 8.9. And here we are once again, and I dig the set. The Generations Cliff Jumper is fine, especially if you like the um, like game aesthetic from War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, um, or if you like even Transformers Prime and didn't get those because there's some purple detailing that's sort of an homage, I think, to like the zombie Cliff Jumper. Uh, the Earthrise will definitely appeal to some people. It has a great parts count, excellent articulation, no doubt about it. A couple of little fiddly bits with the transformation. It's all right. It's not the cliff jumper for me. Um, here, yes, this guy and this guy has the, uh, you know, they have their limitations. No waist, no thigh swivel. That's not great. But the articulation is generally effective. The transformation is quite good. And they even come with so many extra bits to fill in things like the hollow back. They got a little hand blaster, plus the big blaster. Um, I mean, there's a lot here to like. But at the end of the day, for me, when I was trying to decide what to do, would I keep my generations, would I get the Earthrise, or would I get this? Here's what I've kind of looked at it like, and here's how it worked in my mind. It'll probably work different for you. I said my generations, he was always kind of limited at the knee, and always kind of limited with the shoulders. Maybe he was due for an update, even though I do like him, and there's an argument to be made for just keeping him. I'm certainly going to keep Suppressor. Do I want Earthrise, or do I want the Hot Soldiers? Um, I looked at Hot Soldiers and said, look, I can get a Cliff Jumper and a Hubcap, 24 bucks Canadian. Or I can just get Cliff Jumper and pay $35 Canadian. 15 bucks in the difference, and two characters versus 
one. So I took a risk on this. Yes, they weigh less. Yes, they are smaller and less dense. But at the end of the day, when you look at all the value in here and you weigh it, you get about 70 grams worth of product. When you look at the Earthrise and weigh it, you get 57 grams. I, I looked at it and I said, you know what, I'm getting, what, uh, 13 more grams of product for $10 less, uh, $15 less. That was the math that made sense to me. But that's just me, and that's totally subjective. Objectively, uh, these guys are kind of thin, they're kind of small, and they're not going to appeal to everybody. I totally understand why somebody might say, no, nah, man, I'm just going to keep my generations, or why somebody might say, no, nah, man, I'm going to go Earthrise, and I believe Hubcap is coming out in Select. So you can always get two versions of that mold if you dig it. I feel like they, this embodies both characters better, and it works for me and my collecting taste. Let me know which cliff jumper and, by association, hubcap works best for you and your collecting taste. Is it these guys? Is it the Earthrise? Or is it something totally different? You know, I love to hear from you guys, and I appreciate you coming by. Give me some of your extremely valuable time. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, there is a donate link down in the description. Don't forget that somehow, some way, most importantly, each and every day, you do make a difference and I look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit either in the live streams on Thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way man right here inside the videos.